What's up everyone and welcome to our junior club. In today's video we're drawing Wrath from Ben 10. Let's get started on the top center of our page with the nose. Starting right in the middle, let's start with a point. Now from here I'm going to curve the nose going up and out towards the left. Go back to the center, curve this up and out towards the right. Now I want to bring the nose coming back down and in with a short curve. Now from here we're going to trace out the inside of the nose. Starting back on the left, curve this up towards the top. And then from here we're going to curve this in and then back down towards the center. Let's fill the inside of the nose. Let's go to the top corners of the nose and curve in the brow. Starting on the left, curve this in and up. Do the same thing on the right. And then going back to the outside, let's curve the eyelid, going up and out towards the side. Now you want to bring the eyelid going up towards the point. Curve this out and then up. And then we'll work our way back in. Bring down and in. And we'll follow the same curve, coming in and then down towards the inside. Now from here we're going to tuck the eyes in underneath the eyelid. On the outside, let's step in, curve the eye, coming down and then in towards the side of the nose. And we'll add a thick trim around the eyes. From the top, we'll step out, curve this down, just pull that in towards the inside. And we'll darken up the outside of the eyes. Let's go back to the side of the nose, starting on the left, curve this out, and then down towards the chin. Do the same thing on the right. And we'll close off the chin with a curve, coming down and then up. Now we're gonna go halfway along this line and draw the mouth. We're gonna go up and then down. And we'll add a fang on either side, going up and then back down, like an upside down V. Let's go back up to the side of the eye, draw a straight angle line coming down towards the base of the cheeks. And we'll curve this in and then down towards the side of the jaw. Let's add a thick trim along the bottom, starting from this point. I'm just going to taper this in towards the side. And then we'll fill that area in black. Now I want to go back up and close off the top of the head, starting on top of the left brow, curve this up the middle, and then bend that back down. And I'll add some stripes along the top of the head, starting right in the middle, let's start with a point, angle up and out towards the left and right, and we'll add a smaller point on either side, coming down and back out. And then again, we'll fill those stripes in black. Now from here we're going to simplify the body. We're going to start from the side of the head on the left, curve the shoulder going out and then down. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. And then we'll round up the side of the shoulders, starting back on the left, go out and then down. Now we're going to move back to the middle and work our way down the center of the body. We're going to start underneath the chin in the center, step down, start with a point. Curve this out and up underneath the head on the left. Do the same thing on the right. Now we move down, draw a circle, go all the way around, and then back up. And then from the top sides, angle down and in, go down and out. And we'll fill the sides in black. Now halfway between this point and the top of that circle, we'll start with a point, go up and out towards the side. Now from here we're going to draw the top edge of the chest. On the left, go out and then bend that up. And then from the side, 
Got a short angle line coming down and out. Bend this down and then in towards the bottom of the chest. Let's go back to the left side, curve the chest coming in and up towards the circle. We need a gap along the inside. From the bottom point of the chest, we'll step in, curve this down and in. And draw two straight angle lines coming down towards the center. Start with the left, and then go up on the right. Now that we've drawn the chest, let's move back out and draw the inside edge of the arms. On the left side, we're going to step in, for the bicep, coming down and out. And then from here, we're going to step back in, round up the forearm, coming in and out towards the wrist. Let's add two small half circles for the thumb. And pull this in and then out. Close off the end with a bracket. Let's add in that first finger. Starting from the bottom of the thumb, curl this around that bracket, and then go back up. Now there's a large claw along the back side of the hand. Let's start from the top of the finger, come down, and bend that in. Now going back up to the top, draw a straight angle line going out toward the side. And then we'll connect the outside to that bottom point with a curve. Coming down and just taper that down towards the bottom. Let's line up the bottom finger on the outside of that claw, curve the last finger going out and then in towards the wrist. We're also going to see the second finger in between, starting down here, goes down and out in behind the claw. Now let's go back up to the base of the shoulder and round up the side of the arm. Starting up here, pull this out, and just pull that in. And then from here, we're going to step back up, round up the forearm, going out, and then in towards the wrist. Now we go back and separate out the wrist. Start from the top of the thumb, pull this out, and then down in behind the claw. And then from the outside of the claw, cut out and up towards the outside of the wrist. Let's go back up and add a couple stripes on either side. Start from the top left, cut this down and in. Line this up on the right, cut down and in. Now from the bottom, we're just gonna taper this back up towards the top. Let's add another stripe along the point of the shoulder. Come down and in. And then again, I'm just going to taper that out towards the side. Let's go back and finish off the legs. From that center point, we're going to step down and add a curve. From left to right, going up and then down. And then leaving a gap in the center, let's go to the left side, go down and out, go to the right, do the same thing. Let's round out the inside of the calf, starting back on the left, come in and then out. I'm just going to bend that back down towards the bottom of the foot. Now let's round out the bottom of the feet, starting back on the left, curve the foot, coming down and then up on the outside. Let's go back to the left, we're going to round out the top of the foot. We're going to go up, and then just bend that down on the inside, curl that back up towards the inside of the leg. Now let's separate out the toes. From the outside, we'll step in, curl this up, to bend that in, step in, and draw that twice. Now with the inside of the legs and the feet in place, let's go back up and draw on the back. We're going to start from the inside of the bicep on the left, put this in and down. And then from here, draw a short line coming down towards the hips. 
And then on the left side, put the leg going out and then down towards the knee. And we'll bend the leg coming down and in on top of the feet. Now we're gonna add a couple stripes along the side of the leg. Let's start from the hip, go down and in, and taper that back out toward the side. And leave a gap and do that one more time. Go down and in, and we'll taper that back out toward the side. And there we have it, there's Wrath from Ben 10. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.